PAEA has made a recent enhancement to the end of rotation exams by moving to scale scores. There has been a lot of questions regarding how to translate the scores into grades. One consideration that we can offer faculty is calculating Z scores. This short tutorial will help you better understand how to calculate a Z score. Using the Z score model is in essence applying a second scale to the PAEA scale score. This may be a reasonable option for programs, especially those programs already using the Z score model. We can use the example provided from the PAEA Emergency Medicine End of Rotation Exam version 6, where the mean score is 406, the standard deviation is 21, and then calculate a Z score for a hypothetical test score of 450. First, let's review the calculation. The Z score is the student scale score minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. So now let's put these numbers into practice. You have 450 minus 406 divided by 21. This will give you 44 divided by 21. The student has a z-score of 2.09 which is a little over two standard deviations from the mean. Next, look at a textbook to find the student's percentile rank. If we look at this graph, on the far left-hand side, go down to 2.0, and then up at the top, go to 0.09. If you slide down, you'll see a number of 0.9, 817. So we can see the student performed in the 98th percentile rank. Only 2% of students scored higher. Programs now need to determine performance bars and cut points based on the Z scores. Some programs will use pass fail, other programs may use grades. This is a mock visual but one way to think about turning scores into grades. You can pick performance bars for the range of A, for the range of B, or even C, or however your program decides.